Were you listening to me, Neo? Or were you looking at the woman in the red dress? I was... Look again. It's not okay to think that the Earth is flat. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm Tim Foyle Hat Man. Uh, I... Well, when I get the opportunity, I go around uh, making some observations. I, be, uh, I know for a fact that you can uh, prove um, the surface and aspect of an object if you've got reference points with observation alone. So uh, we'll, we'll get into this. We'll, um, probably a good place to start is if we just have a, a, a brief look at the observation equipment that we're going we're gonna to be using. And then we'll go to the area and we'll we'll get into this and hopefully have um, some fun and laughs along as we do it. And uh, yeah, I'll show I'll show you what's going on. All right. Okay, so this is not, as you know, uh, flats. This is not a presentation that I've a formal one that I've got written or scripted up or anything like that. So hopefully, we just as we go through all of this, we can just have much more of an informal chat about everything. So that's that's the way that I'm I'm hoping it goes down. So. Um, on screen, as you can see, this is the observation equipment. I actually have three telescopes and a Nikon P900 camera. This is the Celestron C11. It's the ball breaker. Uh, <laughs> it's on a monster. It's on a Manfrotto 161 tripod with a, a pan tilt head. Um, it is phenomenal yeah um so it's 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 got a focal length of 2800 millimeters and basically if i drop um the bog standard barda hyperion mark IV zoom eyepiece that i have into it which you, you you'll see here with that configuration i basically achieve I start at the uh, full power zoom of uh, effectively of a Nikon P1000 camera. Mm -hmm. So we, our starting point is 115, yeah. is 115 times magnification. And that's, that's just by dropping in and that's how, how we start. Yeah. If I twist that zoom, um, we'll go up to 300 and just short 350 times magnification. And then what I can do is I can then drop in in between uh, the uh, Barda Hyperion zoom eyepiece, I can drop in a two times focal extender and that will then just double all of those magnifications that I've just told you about. I, I've then got a three times focal extender and a four times focal extender. So all of that applies. Uh, you can, you can, you can start achieving three, 4,000 times zoom with this, this telescope, but look, look at it. It's amazing. It's, it's it's a monster okay so um best thing to do then now is if we just go and have a look and take a look at the actual area where where we are uh this is the humber in the uk it's on the east coast of the uk it's a large tidal estuary and it's um it's the river Ouse and the river trent i believe that come and, and formulate this area uh, you'll have to bear with me because sometimes Google Earth is is extremely laggy, and I'm I'm going to assume it is even more so now. I'm on restream, but basically this is this is this is our area. This is this is the area that the observation took place in, right? So I'll just show you. Basically, this is where we are, and that's it. Google Earth won't let me go down any lower, but as we come down, right, we're hitting minus 40 centimeters and then we hit minus one around here right and you'll see there's this this like the way that uh google uh earth have mapped this with, with a plane flying over it's actually showing like a trench and everything which is you know not here it's gradiented but at the end of the day i walked out to here set up the scope here and this is actually displaying a minus two meter elevation and okay. you and your scope is one meter yeah. elevation, as you can see. So it's minus one meter, actually. <laughs> yeah, what I, what I would say, because we do want to be fair and we do want to be honest in every, everything that we're doing. And what I would say is that this could, you know, we could potentially be at one minus 1.5, even though it's showing minus two, um, because you do get the gradation here, but then you're not getting it here. So we, we, we could be at minus uh, 0.5. You can see this is this is one meter. 
Um, yeah, so that's what I'm we are echo. certainly flats. We are certainly, for a fact, 100% not above zero meter. Okay, but we we could be minus 20, minus 50. We could actually be minus one, but we are certainly not above zero. But we're going to take zero as our reference. Yeah. Yeah, that's just being kind. <laughs> yeah, yeah let's, be, let's be kind and give zero our, our, as our reference. Yeah. Mm -hmm. As that's what I was aiming for. Okay. Yeah. So this is what we're actually looking at. In fact, I'll just come out of Street View and just show you that we are in that place. So let's just come out. So you can see we're in up We're shooting across here to Kilnsea, a place called Kil Kilnsea here. And this road corners round and you've got the Crown and Anchor pub here. Okay. So this is the Crown and Anchor. And then if we just grab Street View and drop Street View in in front of that pub, here we go. That's the crown and anchor. Let's go forward slightly. There we go. That's the pub. So we know that that's sat on a four meter elevation. The rod's four meters. Not this house. And then we are actually shooting from across over here, right? Mm -hmm. As you can see, it's stating this is a four meter elevation rod, which looks right. That's the area. And we are at a distance of 7.57 miles. So just short of eight miles. Okay. Look at that. You can actually see, you can actually see those benches. Yep. You can see the, what's awesome. You can even see the shoreline, which you're not supposed to see before that <laughs> four meter height line. <laughs> wow. if, if you look on actual pub sign, you can see that little white sticker as well in Ghana. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's just put them side by side so we can actually precisely see what we're looking at, okay? Nice. So let's go back to this. And there's a bit of ripping in the textures uh, here. But let's just um, let's just put this side by side. And let's just, let's just, just take stock of this for a couple of minutes, right? <laughs> right, because... Right. Let's just let's just do this. Okay. So we, Can I just point out, guys? This isn't the main observation. Just to let you know, is this is no, one thing. No. Uh, it's still amazing. I'm just showing you this one as a screenshot, and then we'll we'll, <laughs> we'll, we'll get into it. We're gonna get into it. Yeah, he's just warming you up. I've got my I've got my <laughs> the appetizer. Coat. I've got my yeah. rubbing coat. <laughs> right. So look at that. We know that this is this rod. What this van is on is four meters elevation this phone box here is quite an iconic british um thing that you, that that you don't see it now here because they've removed a lot of them from around the country because nobody uses them anymore do they they've, they're turning them into defibrillator defibrillators, yeah. defibrillators. Yeah. Defibrillators. Wow, really? defibrillators and libraries yeah you're serious yeah yeah, yeah they, they, wow. they, they're turning them into some of them into defibrillators and they're actually removing some uh, of them so <coughs> there's like one there's one round corner from me. I think they're using it as a toilet. Oh. <laughs> um, so we know. So these these um, form boxes, they're two point seven meter high, and then so we we can get a, a, a we we know that this this building here, this pub, is no more than what six meters high. We could we could we agree five, on? Five. I'd say five meters. Yeah, about that, about that. I'd say I'd say five and a half. Yeah. We're gonna say no more than six. Yeah. Yep. So we know that this pub is set on four meters and this road is four meters. So we know nine and a half meters is roughly, you know, to, to the top of this building down to here. Yeah. So what does the stupid Walter Bislin, very deceitful surface eye level differential uh, garbage calculator tell us? Well, <laughs> it doesn't it doesn't allow us to actually put zero in. No, of course not. So let's guess, put, you you can go to 0 0.001 yeah so let's put one millimeter in yeah okay and then we've got a target distance of 7.57 miles we've got my uh focal length 2800 mil and, and then gonna... what, what's our target size well let's say let's be generous and say that that, that, six house, meters, is six. Yeah. Yeah. that, that house is six and that elevation is four so 10 meters and then, yeah and yeah, let's put standard refraction just for the globies so they don't cry. Well, we'll do that in a minute, but after just, this, yeah. But yeah, but now what's it showing? Eleven and a half meters. It's crazy. 
So it's, it's double. Completely... It's double what it's supposed to be seen. Yeah. So yeah. because so because this should eleven five five four meters, uh, according to the globe. Uh, what, what what is this globe thing? It's calculation or whatever the, whatever on earth it is that they're telling us that it that it is. This would would be down here, and the, you just see sun. You won't see uh, nothing. You'll see sand. Yeah. Look at the covered completely. Look at the distance from I once you are once because we know the scope is certainly at zero meters, if not a little lower. Mm. Look at what the distance for their geometric physical horizon is: one hundred and twelve meters away. <laughs> <laughs> so it's not even it's not even supposed to meet you're not even supposed to see the bottom of that uh that no. slanted hill there and at, at all you're supposed to be seeing not even supposed to be the roof yeah you, the, know, you might if you're, if you're lucky you might see roof tip of it the very maybe i wouldn't even say it's, a, it's about 11 meters well, let's say 10, 10 from the bottom from the bottom of that well, where you can see, let's, let's now add this refractor gravel axe. Yeah, let's add add the add the standard right. <laughs> standard okay. um, refractor, <laughs> which we know is just an absolute lot of garbage. Okay. Well, let's let's add it in nine and a half meters. Okay. You still not to see it. Still not to see nothing. <laughs> that shows you how much is supposed to be hidden in the globe violation. Idiotic reification model that just mm -hmm. violates the globe, law. The, the globe is a fantasy, you see. It's mm -hmm. like it's not. It's not even like there's two opponents in the ring. It's a box. No debate. There's no there debate. Isn't, there isn't a blue. Yeah, there isn't a blue corner with a guy sat there and a red corner with a red guy sat there. There's only flat Earth in the blue corner, yeah, and then right. in, in everybody else's imagination, there's a guy in the red corner jumping around, pumping his fists and his gloves together <laughs> but, he's, but he's not really there because there's no there is no globe there's no fight in him there's yeah. no fight in him it's um it's swing ball in it and you're playing on your own yeah there's not there's no debate here there's not what you're going to do have a debate with the <laughs> the local uh, the local impatient down at the um local mental what? asylum that, that, tell, that says that they're elvis presley do you know what I mean? you're not going to have yeah. a conversation with them are you minus two meters okay because he's in like a little divot in the ocean yep. floor bed. So, yep. and he's, and he's, his uh, gear is only about a meter and a half. So it's actually a half a meter below no. sea level. No, the gear, the gear is a meter, Matt. A meter. So it's a meter below sea level. We're just giving it zero to be kind to the globe. Wow, man. We can't so even get people yeah, making but... excuses saying it's not the height. It's just them very battered that the globes crumbling in front of the eyes. Flats, you can't input minus one into any of these no, calculators. It doesn't exist. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> right. So what do we see? So let's just go. Let's get that other image back up. There we go. Right. Uh, so, you'll see. And look at the camp. Look at the telescope shake. I love look this. at the look at the That's how windy air, it is. Look at the air turbulence, so the wind pouring away. So that, there's those posts that we just I just showed you. You can see them just here. These are the posts, and we're going to pan right, and this lighthouse is going to come into view. Okay. Mm -hmm. And these these posts, I haven't been to measure them, but they're probably no no more than about a meter or two. And these are six point two miles away. That would be eight meters. But we're seeing everything. We're seeing all the shore, all the banking going up. Importantly, boom. Uh-oh. I love this part. Why are you right. seeing the bottom of that lighthouse? Importantly, mm -hmm. forgot to show you the elevation, all of this background elevation that you see here. Google Earth is displaying all of this background. It so saw this... This lighthouse that you see in the top right corner, which you'll see in a minute, come more into view, is sat, according to Google Earth, on an elevation of six meters, five, six meters. And there isn't anything around here, around the back, that's like higher than like eight meters. You can you can check it all out for yourself and have a look for yourself. But look, six meters, five meters, four meters, six meters. When you start coming down here, um, you're like, look, you get like six meters, seven meters, Five. So all of this around here, so we're seeing now this direct line of sight, this lighthouse here, 
and this one to the right hand side in the background. And all of this is five, six meters that this, this back telescope, uh, back lighthouse is sat on. But watch. I mean, look at that. You're not supposed to see any of that. <laughs> at all. Uh, and why why are we seeing more of the back lighthouse and you further away <laughs> than what those people took closer? Look, we've got the little seagull, fat seagull on the deck in, in the foreground. In the foreground. With, with a worm in his mouth. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. But I mean, even the moss and all that stuff is um, shown Look, at the bottom. You can see you that. You can see this water line. You can see flats. This water line, mm -hmm. and this you can see distinctly. Okay, yeah, it's average visibility there. But look, you can see exactly. right to the ground. And yeah. we're not quite at the low tide point, so we're not at the point. There, there is there is a little little uh, bit of water. But look at what we're seeing. Well, yep. It's... <laughs> can you deny that one? Uh, Behold, Thomas. Thomas he's... Earth. Thomas, yeah. he is two Welcome meters below sea level. <laughs> <laughs> look, two look, meters man. below sea well, level. We've, well, we've just had a guy in chat saying, oh, no, you can't use mean sea level. You've got to use correct height above oh, water. No. Oh, but, so we're now going to do, oh, do we, we get into a situation where the anti flat earthers start confusing with mean. Yeah. Low, low, lower water level and mean yeah. high higher water level and yeah. referencing oh, against a mean sea level oh dear oh dear oh dear we can go into that as well flats but look at the chubby seagulls and deck in, in before so let's, you, you're about to see a boat come across so that's that um jetty coming out and you'll see now a boat comes in front and you you'll see i'll show you what's going on but look you just see all of the <laughs> how are you seeing that even that uh, jetty at the back there. I mean, <laughs> because it's a straight that. flat plane. Is a is yeah. not, not living a globe. It was and there's oh, look at that. The boat in the. You can see the plimsoll line on the on the ship. Even look at all the water splashing up. Right. So let me just show you what's going wow. on here. So look, we're shooting across. <clears throat> the, and I told you it's a busy shipping. It's a busy shipping lane because they're all going up to um, Hull. So obviously that boat's come in through here. And it, it, it's coming through and it's mm -hmm. in between us. It, it's, some, it's, it's somewhere in between us. So it's coming in, in between. And again, we're 6.12 miles uh, to that old high lighthouse and six miles. It's all around six miles to that jetty and everything. And then look, the boat comes in front. I didn't focus on the boat because I'd, I was struggling with it really just belies what the weather conditions are first it was so windy it was so i'm really pleased with how stable the tripod and the equipment is because you can see all the telescope shake but it's quickly resolving itself so that means it's it's a good setup you know yeah but i was well, really fight, fighting with bad I mean, conditions. but if you look how clear this is compared to what you would use with something like the p1000 or something it's a big difference yeah because you get massive aperture and you get massive light coming in so you get yeah, yeah. side by side the, the same magnifications it, it, this will um this will mm -hmm. this will kill a, P, a P1. I mean, if you look at this and say anything but flat, then you should go book yourself in at the nearest psychologist because something's wrong. So look, we just see everything. We just see all of this, these little wooden structures on the ground. That's six point two, six point three miles. Look, we're just looking straight. But I mean, I mean, if we're looking at uh, the advanced Earth curve calculator to just that lighthouse alone. Okay, with the standard fraction, it's supposed to be six meters hidden. That's at at above sea level. How's that? No glob, man. So you shouldn't see you should you shouldn't see any of what we're seeing in the bottom there at all. At all. <laughs> 